is up guys, this is the Anarchist, like, subscribe, check out my other videos, thank you for being patient, I've got my internet back for the moment, I'm getting it sorted, sorted, so um, don't worry, but I managed to get this video up, and uh, this is my bandless reaction. First, I really, really hope this is an April Fool's like they did the other year, um, it's, it's, some of it is good points, like, like how I will hopefully explain, but stuff like, let's start with the Dragon Rulers. They've banned them, and that is a big mistake. I understand that when you played it with the number 95, they were pretty broken, and Konami obviously has preemptively hit them so that you can't blow out the meta with this number 95 deck. However, these guys, I don't think, should have been all banned. You could have banned two of them, because as it is at the moment, or even one of them, to one of them, two of them, as it is at the moment, um, at one, the Dragon Rulers are being played as they were designed to be, which was elemental bosses, like Blaster is played in like volcanics and stuff, um, Tidal in Mermails, Tempest in, I think they play it in Ritual Beasts, I've seen certain builds, and Redox in Earth decks. And it's like, okay, apart from the Ruler Swarm where they're played together, um, it was all good, but they've gone and banned them on this list, and I really, really hope they they don't, because um, I just they, they weren't the problem. They should have banned Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, because that was the one that allowed you to spam out all of the um, number 95s, not the Dragon Rulers. The Dragon Rulers just allowed a couple of... Um, they kind of, they allowed a couple of plays, but that was pretty much it. They weren't the, well, they, they were good. They made the deck very good. But it's just the, the Dragon Rulers help more decks than they hurt. The Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon only helps, um, like, Chaos Dragons and the number 95 sort of thing. So, I mean, it might have a few more, but, um... The Dragon Rulers, in general, help more decks. So in hitting them, you've killed more decks. Whereas if you just hit the uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, the Dragon Rulers would be back, uh, would be, still be here, and there'd be lots of decks that could still function to a playable degree. Whereas now that now you've hit them, they just shut down a bit more. N next on the forbidden list is Snatch Deal back to being banned, so that's fair enough, it was winning games, and yeah. Uh, they brought back all of the errated cards, like Sinister Serpent, Crush Card Virus, so I won't cover them, um, though I do like a lot of the erratas. Tour Guide from Beyond the World has been limited, that's good. Um, I hope I said the others were limited. But yeah, Tour Guide's been limited, that's fair enough, you've hurt uh, Burning Abyss. I think they are... Probably gonna have to hurt Satellanites as I find Satellanites are really consistent, but uh, that's just personal preference. And uh, what, what was else was next? Uh, Dragon's Ravine is back to one because of the Dragon Rulers. I mean, I like the Dragon's Ravine is back to one, but it could have come back to one with the Dragon Rulers out and it would have done nothing. So, um, people saying, oh yeah, it's better to have the Dragoon issues back. The Dragon Rulers weren't really holding back Dragon's Ravine, it's just sort of, well, it's banned now, they can't do anything with it, and it should have been back ages ago. Uh, preparation of rights is now limited, that's fair enough, um, hurt necros. Sacrifice is now limited, that's hurt Clifford, that's fair enough again. Uh, symbol of heritage, that's fair enough, it made lots of um, loops and stuff, so that one's caused other cards to get banned, so it's fair that it's got banned. What's it? Um, skill drain and is that magical? No, no uh, Skill drain has been limited. I think that's okay because it's hurt Clifford, but Clifford had a pseudo skill drain just for them, so they can play around that, and it just it it stops uh, skill drain shutting down a lot of decks, and they've limited Vanity's emptiness. Vanity's emptiness was I'm kind of on the bench about. I mean, I like that it's limited because it shuts down a lot of OTK decks and everything else and can really hurt other decks. 
but it was like a necessary evil. I mean, people say, oh, floodgates hurt the game and everything else. Vanity's Emptiness was one of the most balanced because if you destroyed any of your opponent's cards, um, Vanity's went with it. So it was kind of like okay in that sense. And people had gotten used to it so much now that they sort of could play around Vanity's and then use their own and stuff. And especially because it's now been reprinted so it's cheap. It was like, okay, I don't mind it anymore. But now that they've got it to one, Necros has just, bec has just gone, no matter what they hit on the Necros deck, the Necros deck has now skyrocketed in the tiers. It's now like definitely number one if it was ever in dispute. Even though they've hit Preparation Rights and later on Bryanak, they can just play Senju and Manju. So until they kill Necros and like kill them with a stick, they're going to be great because Vanities, our main out to it, is gone. So yeah. Clifford Scout has been semi-limited. That's fair enough. You can get it in enough ways. You, yeah. Necros of Bryanak, as I said, has gone to two. Um, what what can I say about that? It's hurt them, but I've, I've seen many play, decks that play only two anyway. Uh, Legendary Six Samurai Shien, that's great. Seeing it back to two, that's going to be good. Um, it's not going to make the deck amazing, but next thing I think they can get is uh, six, Gateway of the Six back to one. And that would help the deck. But uh, it's nice to see Shien at two. Uh, Charge of Light Brigade at two. That's to cover up the fact that they've just killed Light Swarms. They said, oh, you can have Charge back to two. Unless they put Charge to three, Honest to three, and literally just bring Light Swarms back to the original day full force. They've kind of killed it. And I really hope that they they make this in April Fools or something and don't ban all the Dragon Rulers. If they at least left two Dragon Rulers, I could think it was okay because I could play with two. But yeah, oh, Sacred Sword of Seven Stars because of the Dragon Ruler is now at two. It's fair enough. They could have had that at three with the Dragon Ruler still here because, yeah, you were just going to banish your own Dragon Rulers and suddenly kill your deck. So I never liked that anyway. Um, Fire Fist Spirit is back at 3, onto the 3's now, uh, that's fair enough, they killed uh, the Fire Fist 3 axis before it had begun, and um, I actually, I, I think we're going to see more Fire Fist play, and I don't mind that, because I quite like Fire Fist, I could play around the blow up stuff ones more than anything, uh, they brought the baby Dragon Rulers back, so that's like, just, that's obviously going to happen. Uh, Bestiari um, at three, that's fair enough, it should have happened a while ago, I bet many Gladiator Beast players are like grinning their head off. Gores at three, that's going to be great, I want to see I want to see a lot more OTK decks that don't have any back row playing Gores, because people forget how good Gores is, and Gores can open up so many plays. Could maybe even play Gores in like Necros, so, because they don't play much back row, if any. Um, Lone Fire Blossom to three, that's fair enough. You don't see Sylvan so much. Um, Goyo to three, nobody plays it, or if you do, you only play one. And Hieratic Sealer Convocation to three. That, people are saying, oh, they couldn't make their mind up with them. They've made their mind up. They have killed um, Hieratic Rulers and any Ruler deck. They really shouldn't have hit the Rulers. Rulers were now an engine, very basic engine, or they were elemental bosses, which was how they were designed to be. And, well, that sums up the um, ban list. But I really hope this is an April Fool's, because I really like these guys. They're a great mechanic, and if they do ban them, they will have to make a pseudo-dragon ruler sort of thing that will maybe only work with elements, but have the rest, like, same effects. Because beyond the dragon things, they were really... They were they were nice to have because they were a a toolbox like Blaster was like a tool they are all of them toolbox boss monsters whereas usually boss monsters are big sticks that you can't get over very easy these were reoccurring but you could, you could kill them easy enough but they were reoccurring had nice attacks and had an effect in the hand so they were just a nice thing to have for decks and they enabled more decks to play so. In my opinion, 
fair enough list apart from the dragon ruler parts they should have kept these guys or maybe banned one or two so that your dark matter couldn't get like re re repeatedly spammed but because like two of these guys you're going to make a rank seven it's about it beyond the banish whatever you banish your thing but yeah, I, I I would like to see these stay on the ban uh, off the ban list just at one because they just help decks and Red Eyes Darkness Metal that should get banned because that hurts less decks if it gets banned than these do. So yeah, check out my other videos. Hopefully I'll be able to keep me internet going and upload more videos again. But um, yeah, don't worry if if I have another gap. It's because my internet died again. I am changing provider, so don't worry. So yeah, the Anarchist, signing out.